often we end up consuming a lot without even thinking of waste that we are producing. If you are considering to reduce your waste to something useful, then the answer is composting. So, in today's video, we will be talking about the process of composting at home, material required for composting, time taken for composting, how to accelerate the process and one more bonus tip at the end so that you can save your money, resources, improve your soil and reduce your impact on environment. Regardless of your reasons, composting is a win-win situation for you all, good for you and good for the environment. Composting process involves four main components. First component is organic material, which includes both brown and green components. Brown components like dead leaves, twigs and manure will supply carbon, while green component like lawn clippings, food peels and pulps will supply nitrogen to the compost. Now comes the second important component of composting that is moisture. It is an important component to support the composting process. Compost should be comparable to the wetness of a wrung out sponge. If the pile is too dry, add water during dry periods. If the pile is wet, then turn the pile and mix the material. You can also add some dry brown organic material to the compost pile. The third component is oxygen because it is required to support the aerobic bacteria. To sustain them, keep turning the compost material so that the material at the edges are brought to the center of the pile. Turning the pile is important for complete composting and for controlling the odor. By supplying organic matter, uh, water and oxygen, the already present bacteria will start decomposition. Thus, microflora are real workers in composting and hence these are a fourth component. Uh, we can supply uh, these components using different kind of modes that I will be discussing later in this video. Now, we will see the step by step process of composting. Proper layering is crucial to avoid flies and order from your composting pile. So, we will start the composting in an earthen pot. Avoid using plastic pot as it may result in unnecessary temperature shoot up. The pot has a hole to drain excess water or collect the compost water if required. I like to put a plastic sheet at the base to avoid unnecessary mess. The hole may be created later as per need. I always prefer use of gravels for first layer as it is a strong base and allows proper aeration. Now I am adding second layer to the compost that is organic matter. For that layer, you can use shredded newspaper, office papers or any kind of lawn clipping such as leaves, trimmed uh, plant materials like twigs or stems etc. whatever you have from your garden. And uh, you can also use manure for that that may include excreta from cow, horse, sheep etc. As the manure and other material that I have is too damp, I am adding dry newspapers to it to reduce the moisture level. Now the most important layer that is going to add beneficial microbes to our composting pile. For that you may add finished compost. Already prepared vermicompost is also a very good option. Furthermore, 
Commercial microbial starters are also available in the market and the links of them are given in description box below. However, these starters are not very necessary in the composting piles that have proper CN ratio. Many of you may wonder about how much time will it require to get the final product. Well, it may take from 30 days to 45 days. It depends on various factors such as size of compost pile, type of material used, surface area of the material and frequency of turning the pile. One of the most vital thing to know before starting composting is what not to use in compost. Meat or dairy scraps, manures from cat, dog or any other carnivore, color printed magazine papers, diseased plants and plants with herbicides or insecticides. Now many of the viewers asked an important question, how will they know about the fact that compost is ready? So the answer is, compost is ready to use when it's dark brown, crumbly and earthy order. It's fluffy, original material put into compost pile can't be recognized and most importantly, it doesn't stick to your hands much. Now comes the bonus tip. Chopping the organic material into smaller pieces will help speed the composting process by increasing surface area. If you find this video helpful, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.